welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday the 5th of February and today we are starting today's vlog in the studio because that's what we're doing today. Anyway, Aurora is sat down here eating some carrot sticks. She absolutely loves these. She's just had some dinner. She she will not eat baby dinners anymore or anything like that. Um, she really loves this. So she's had ham, cheese, and tomatoes all cut up. She absolutely loves it. Usually I get like the fresh ham. Well, it's not fresh, but it's the breaded ham, like the really, um, you get like five pieces for about three quid, something like that. But she loves that breaded ham, cut up into strips with tomatoes and cheese. That seems to be a favorite thing at the minute. So I'd rather be eating that than nothing. Um, but last night, oh, the other night, she had spaghetti bolognese and she demolished it. She loved it. Usually, I start weaning the babies really early, so I kind of feel like I don't know what I'm doing. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing. It's just because I know it sounds stupid because I've had 10 kids and Ch Chloe was on baby dinners from like four, I'd say about four, six week old, something like that, because she was such a hungry baby. It's under your gym, baby. It's here. <laughs> Did you lose it? Did you lose it? She loves it at the minute, just um, holding the packet herself. Although you're gonna get it all over your top. And I've just washed your coat and now it needs washing again. Yep. So I did wash it, now it needs washing again. Um, yeah, so Chloe was on baby dinners from around four to six week old. And then I was weaning off from around, I'd say about four months she started eating like solid foods and she'd have like um crackers cheese salad um everything really like the little um milk loaf bread she'd love that she used to have loads of stuff and she they've all like really healthy they've always had like healthy meals and stuff like that as babies she because she's been poorly has just been like really fussy with stuff and because she's been so poor, it's been really hard to kind of put her in a chair and give her some food in front of her because she's just cried to be picked up. So because she wasn't like taking the finger food, obviously we had to get her to eat something. So we were advised off the doctors to even just try with like the Ella's baby dinners um, because it was smooth and if she had a sore throat, it had helped and it just go down easier. So. <coughs> But she just went off them from around, I'd say about six months, she just totally went off them. There's only like one that she would eat and that was the Heinz's spaghetti bolognese. But I didn't want to give her spaghetti bolognese constantly every single day because that would just get boring. Um, so I was giving her stuff like soup, crispy bread, um, crumpets, stuff like that, just trying to get her to wean, like hold it herself. And she's really good with these sticks and stuff like that. But when it comes to food, because of the feel of certain stuff, she won't hold it. So she's gone really fussy with like, if you give her a muffin with like chicken on or anything like that, or tuna, she loves tuna as well, tuna and cucumber. If you give her a, on a like muffin, she won't touch it. You've got to take it off the muffin and just put like whatever's on it on the plate so she could just eat it off that. Um, she's just, it's just, it's so hard to like think about what I can give her that I know she'll like the texture of. So if any of you can give me any advice and message me on Facebook or Instagram and just give me some like recipe ideas of stuff that doesn't involve um, like bread or stuff like that because she just won't touch it, then please, please, I would appreciate it because I am like... I just, I really don't know. I tried with peanut butter on toast. She does like that, but I was thinking of getting them cracker breads, the wholemeal ones, and trying the peanut butter on them. She might like that, and she might hold that because it's more like um, a solid food rather than a, like a muffin. Anyway, we're over here, and we're just, well, we're not. She's sat there eating. I'm sat here, well, I'm stood here painting. So we're trying to get this wall as you can see, um, to match. I don't know what is wrong with this wall, but it seems like in some places it's 
painted on really well and then others it's just gone like really patchy um, I don't know whether it's just because whenever it was painted last they've painted more of that purple in certain spots so it's kind of took in places where it's had more than it has in other places so it's kind of soaking it in I mean it is as you can see I've gone over this again so it is looking better and obviously up here I haven't you can tell so I'm just going to go over this now and then Dave's gone to school to pick the kids up so I'm hoping because this is drying real quick and it's warm in here now because we've had the heat on for like two days um, so this is almost dry so I think by the time Dave comes back I should have been able to have done like two coats but we're just going to go and see Deborah downstairs, not been to see her for so long because we were Paula and I've mentioned before her grandson was diagnosed with cancer and he's, he's only just turned two so we were trying to avoid going like near her because obviously she was going to go and see um, Link and we didn't want him to like pick up any viruses, colds or anything like that but now we're both poor, both poor and now we're both better it's it's fine i mean i've got a bit of a cough but it's just kind of a bad cough it's not like a flu that's a flu <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it's kind of just lingering there i don't know why can't understand so we managed to tidy up a little bit um obviously i'm not going to move this till i've sorted that back wall out but i, I moved all of these um back things the backdrops to here so they're all underneath each other well not all of them because there's still some in there um but i've just put these here for now i'm going to leave this set up i'm going to put a table there with um well i don't even know actually i might leave this like this so when the kids come on saturday sunday um they can have pictures taken i could just sit, sit them down and get some pictures of the kids all together this is one of the other setups so I just thought that I'd just leave this here. I thought it just looked pretty and they could just have some pictures taken. Obviously because it's got the number one and stuff like that. And then I can sit here on this and all the kids can sit here. Whoever wants a picture with her. Just thought it looked really cute. So I'm just going to move this. Well I'm going to move this once I've finished painting this wall. But can you see like what I mean by the patches? I just I can't understand why it's doing it. I just hope that it is... Oh, it's going. I just hope that it is going to like, eventually, after a couple of coats, it's just going to fade in a match. And Aurora's decided that she wants to sit here now. Do you want to sit there and have a picture done? Hey. Eh? Do you want to sit there and have a picture done? How about we dress you and get some pictures? Eh? Hey? What is that? I think somebody's trying to play the trumpet. Who is it? Don't you rip that, you monkey. You monkey. I'm turning it round. I'm turning it round so you can't get it. Should we go take your coat off? Do I take your coat off? You look so gorgeous, you know. I still can't believe you won. Just think, when you woke up this morning, it was still your birthday. Yes, till 12 minutes past 11, it was still your birthday, Dad. wasn't it? So Dad. they were still waking up this morning saying, good morning birthday girl. Dad. Yeah. Dad. Guys, Aurora was trying to get the camera this morning and said to her, oh, are you a vlogger? She went, vlogger. Are you a vlogger? Dad. Dad. Are you a vlogger? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Are you a vlogger? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. I just love you. I love you so much. All right, I've just come back from school. I've just dropped the kids off with Imogen and Mason. I've come over here with Vanellope, as you've just seen, with Aurora and Sarah. I've just come over because I needed to clear some space because they've got a big printer coming tomorrow. So I'm thinking it's going to go down here where all this is because it's literally, it's around three and a half foot tall. So obviously I need to make space for it so it's got a permanent home. I would have put it on here but I think it's not going to be big enough this table because we've already got two big printers on here. Well, three big printers because this FL Sun QQ as well, this is a pretty big printer. It prints um, just around about the same size as the other big ones next to it. 
But I think this is going to be the last one that I buy for quite a while, unless I upgrade the. I've got two here that I want to upgrade to Enders or Anacubic i3 Megas, so they might be going as well. But not. I'm not in a rush for that. But I do need to clear this space here because they, it, this printer does need to go there. I might do a live build on this printer as well. Something that I've wanted to do for ages where we go live. Or I go live from here from the studio. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Don't bank on it. Uh, <coughs> if I do go on, I think I'll have to get as many of my moderators on as I can. Because obviously it'll be a full-blown um, attack on um, the channel. As it normally is whenever we go live now. So... Not that I don't enjoy it, it's one of them things. So yeah, it, it, it's me, so I probably won't, I'll just probably just come over and get it up and get it up and running because honestly, I really need it. That's one of the reasons why I bought it because it's, it's really badly needed. It's uh, one of the biggest, in fact, it is the biggest printer that I've got in the arsenal now. This one over here, the Anacubic Chiron, and then the one next to it, the Copymaster 400, they're both big boys as well. And so is this FL some QQ that I've got the arm resting on now. But obviously the Predator is going to be the big one. It's supposed to sound absolutely menacing when it prints, hence the name Predator. And it's also supposed to be very, very noisy and very, very warm. So this room might get up to temperature so it can print ABS. All this on the top here that you can see, all this, the majority of it is ABS. But I haven't got any enclosures for the printers and I don't tend to print in ABS because it stinks. And it's nasty stuff when it gets going as well. So I'm going to head home now. It's currently 5 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered. I, I feel like I'm, I'm just drained today. I keep going to bed at like one o'clock in the morning. It's, it's just not, it's not acceptable. It really isn't. We still got the holiday to book as well. We still got other things that we need to do. The website is taking loads of orders at the minute as well. Even though I've come off eBay for quite a while, I think I'm going to start back on eBay at the end of this month once I've cleared some of these website orders. But I'll do it a little bit differently this time on eBay again. I'm only going to put select items on there, I'm not going to go in there all guns blazing again because you just get clogged up with orders and it's not good. Not good at all. But I'm hoping to finish the Mandalorian armour, that should be finished by the end of next week. So then he can come in, pick his armour up and it can be sent off to Tony for painting. Uh, which, is just he's just on another level Tony, he really is. In fact he's going to be doing my Mandalorian armour because I'm going to do, I'm going to cosplay as the Mandalorian I think. And uh, to uh, Tony, Jason next door, he's going to do all the leather work for me, like his holster and everything else, so exciting times ahead. So this morning, we managed to get Aurora walking, so I'm going to get Dave to insert that clip now of her taking some steps. Look, watch. Look at the boy up there. It was so amazing. I can't believe it. By the end of the week, I think she's going to be walking. With a bit of luck, by her birthday, she should be doing it. So we've been doing it with her every day now. We should have done it like the week before her birthday. Um, but she just wasn't in the mood. And I think now she's getting better. She's kind of building a courage back up to do other things. So with a bit of luck, yes, she should be walking by her birthday. I'm not going to bank on it. And I'm not too fussed if she doesn't. Because she'll just do it in her own time. But, yeah, I really do hope that she is walking before her birthday. I say birthday, a birthday party. I stand corrected. A birthday party, because it's already been a birthday. But, never mind, it's your birthday for the whole of the week now, innit? Because you've still got a birthday party to come, aren't you? And you're going to have lots of fun. So we've ordered, I don't know if I've told you, we've ordered soft play, so that'll probably be set up around there somewhere. I'm not decided where it's going to go yet. Um, and then we've got Peppa Pig coming at around 2 o'clock so she'll probably sing happy birthday with a cake and the candles and stuff like that so yeah it should be fun I'm looking forward to it we're just trying to think of something for the older kids to do I was going to buy like some giant board games but then I thought um, well my mate's got a couple so she is going to bring them there's like giant Jenga and something else um, but we're going to bring the Wii so I thought that would be really good for the kids to play on because there's loads of like different options of games and we can all we can all join in in that and be like um we can have groups or like teams and stuff like that but i don't know we'll see how the day pans out you know how it is you always say you're going to do something and then 
it just it doesn't happen. But as long as the kids have got something to play on and keep themselves occupied, obviously, because even though these babies come in, most of my friends have got older kids, so they need to bring the older kids with them. But yeah, it should be a fun day. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just chilling, catching up with some people, and just Aurora just having some fun. Anyway, we're gonna love you and leave you for a little bit. I'm gonna crack on with this painting and then we're gonna come back to you guys. We need to clean the stove and obviously it's not manky, but it does need cleaning because we've not used it since Halloween. So it'd be nice just to freshen it up, get it all clean so nobody gets polar. Um, it's just like health and safety, clearly because I work in here so they're like stuff that comes under the health and safety, everything's got to be cleaned and bleached and stuff like that. So tomorrow, or maybe Friday, I'm gonna come in here and bleach the whole of the floors, clearly because it's gonna be babies crawling around and there's gonna be kids running around, so we wanna make sure it's germ free. Um, vanilla pet, vanilla pet, keep saying vanilla pet, Aurora was just biting on this tether, but she keeps biting it off and eating it. You keep biting it off and trying to eat it, don't you? And I thought you was gonna choke on the fur. Yes, I thought you was gonna choke on the fur, you cheeky. You cheeky. Say guys, where the guys? Where the guys? Oh, boo boo boo. Say, oh, papa. Oh, papa. Guys. Say, guys. Guys. Where's the guys? They're not here yet. Where's these guys? Ah, oh, say, ah. Oh. <laughs> say. Say ah. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Say ah. Uh. Say ah. Uh. No. All right then. Say bye then. Bye bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye. All right, guys. It is the end of today's vlog. I hope everybody's enjoyed these last few days. It's been pretty hectic. It's been Aurora's birthday. And now we're getting ready for Oscar going to France, which is going to be amazing for him. He can't wait. They're going on his little adventure with school. That's going to be fantastic. And I'm absolutely wasted. And so is Sarah. It's currently half 11. And I think we're going to get an early night. Because not only in bed at about 1 o'clock. Massive, 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 massive printer coming tomorrow. Can't wait to get hold of it. The Anacubic Predator. It's an absolute beast. Uh, having a bit of an issue at the minute though with its um, slicing software. It doesn't seem to have like a really decent, I don't know if you can see it on there. And I can't be bothered. Oh. Making it so you can see it. It's um, it's a Delta printer, which means it's like a cylinder. So it's not like a normal Cartesian printer that prints, you know, it's got XY, stuff like that. But as you can tell, I'm extremely tired. I'm gonna go, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, there's nothing, make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we'll see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.